Hello, how's it going? So in the previous video, we basically got a triangle up and we did that by sending the data to the GPU. Now there's just a little addendum I'm going to do to that, which is index drawing. Now index drawing is sort of a neat little trick. It doesn't do much at the moment with these little triangles and shapes and things, but when you get into bigger models, I've seen up to about really up to about a 50% improvement in performance just by index drawing. What is index drawing? Well, let's say that we go to our mesh builder and instead of making a triangle, we want to make a quad. I'm gonna make a quad. Now a quad is a, you know, a rectangle. So it's made of two triangles. And so what I'm gonna do is copy this over and say, okay, we're going to have six vertices now. And let me just quickly talk out loud. Uh, bottom left, bottom right, and then we'll go top right. Get out of my way. Top right. And then we'll do the same again. So we'll have top right. And then I'll go. and then we'll wrap around to the bottom left. My point is that when we make this thing out of two triangles, two of those corners are getting doubled up on. And just for completeness, I'll go ahead and duplicate the colors. It's not such a big deal at the moment, but we are duplicating some data. So, let me just change this to quad vertex buffer. So I'm going to go back to my main program and I'll define as well as a triangle mesh will have a quad mesh. Okay. So far, so good. We can then go down to our renderer and draw that. So just before we draw the triangle. Okay, cool. So we'll go ahead and run that and see, verify that it is working. Great. So it's working. That's a quad. That's not the issue. The issue is not this. The issue is sort of how can we do the same thing, but with index drawing. So as I said, if we go back to our builder, we can see that some of this stuff is being doubled up on. So I'm just going to go up here. I'm going to make a struct. Just like that, because for my quad, I'm going to need two buffers. So now I'm going to just say already uh, this will return a mesh and I'm going to grab all of this, copy it over. Uh, Alrighty. So we're going to have indices, which will be a set of unsigned integers. In this case, we don't have a lot of them. I'm going to use 16 bit unsigned integers. We can either use 16 or 32 or so. And then over here for the contents, if I look at this, I'm going to call this thing number zero. And here I have corner number one, corner number two. Then if I look at this, I'm actually doubling that again. So then another triangle, which uses corner number two and a new one. So corner number three, and then back to the beginning. So corner number zero, I'm then going to go back to my vertices and remove those duplicate entries. So we have zero, one, two, two again. So get rid of that three and then zero. So I'll get rid of that duplicated entry there. And then the usual stuff. So this is now an array of four vertices. Great. Um, and then down here, some of this data is, I'm going to reuse these variables. So we'll have bytes. Are a byte array built around vertices. Uh, buffer descriptor, we can reuse that. 
I'm going to call this quad index buffer. And then for the usage, if we go in, we can see that there's an index option for buffer usage. This is going to complain. Is it? It should. Let me pretend that it isn't going to. Okay, going to return a mesh. The vertex buffer will put in, well, put in that vertex buffer for the index buffer. Again, we'll put in that index buffer. Please complain. Why are you not complaining? Okay, so this is saying, wait a second, um, we're changing the value of this variable. We can get around that by making this a mutable variable. And I'll do the same thing here. All right, because I'm redefining the type to be the same. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So that is all working. That's how we do it. We create those two buffers, bundle them together. And then on the main side, I'm just going to change these types. So I'm going to say, okay, this quad mesh is now a mesh object. That should be okay. Alrighty. So then when it comes into rendering, I'm going to set the vertex buffer by slicing the vertex buffer. And then I'm also going to set the index buffer to read the indices from. So again, set index buffer. Yeah, we don't need this thing here. Gonna have, and then the index format. So I'll go WGPU. Ah, oh, my goodness, it was right there. Okay, index format, unsigned int 16. Then when we go to draw, I can say, come on, come on, draw indexed. We've got the indices, that's a range. Um, we're drawing from index zero to six, and then the base vertex will be zero, and the instances, again, we're not really gonna have instancing, so just a single instance, just like that. And what are we complaining about here? Never read, good spot. It is never read, but now it is. Okay, cool. So this is how we do it, nice and simple. Number one, create two buffers to hold the vertex data and the index data. Number two, bind all of that and then draw. Go ahead and draw this and hope that it works. Nice, okay, that's looking cool. So there we have it. In this video, we did index drawing in WGPU. Hope you had fun and I will see you again soon. Bye. Hi, so I just wanted to take a second to say thank you to all of my channel supporters. If you would like to support the channel, it's $2.50 a month, that's all I ask, but it's not expected. If you are not able or willing to support the channel financially, the best thing you can do is the usual, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you'd like to see, let me know what you're enjoying, because I am trying to make the best educational content that I can under the constraints. So with that out of the way, really big thank you to Antonin Karet, Dankiel Foles, Declan, Endelon Studios, Isaiah Meyer, Mathieu Derick, Moim, and Shreya. Thank you so much, my dudes. I really do appreciate it. It's fuel for the fire. Keep me going, keep me motivated. Um, but yeah, have a great one, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.